In the following film, vetsurgeon.org clinical editor Alasdair Hotston Moore, FRCVS, demonstrates gloving and gowning following the principles of aseptic technique. Now I should say, apologies for the slightly unclinical looking setting used for the making of this film, but it was filmed at a time when COVID restrictions made it hard to film in practice. We do nevertheless hope this will be of use to veterinary surgeons trying to follow good practice in surgery, as well as vet nurses and vet techs who are assisting them. It's also, we hope, a useful resource for examination preparation. In this video, we're going to look at gloving and gowning. You can at this stage imagine I'm wearing a hat and a mask. I'm wearing theatre suit, but I've not yet scrubbed my hands. So we'll start by opening the gown, preparing the gown, and then I will go and wash my hands, and then we'll continue with how to wear the gown. So this is the disposable gown that we're going to use today. It's double wrapped, meaning that we have an outer packet and an inner packet. So I'll open the outer packet and that's discarded. And then we have the gown, which is still sterile within the inner packet. So I place this onto the table. You'll see that the front part comes towards me to cover the front of the table. And then keeping my hand on the outside of the wrap, I can open the rest of the wrap, still keeping the inner package, that is the gown, and the hand towels are untouched and remain sterile. So I now go and wash my hands, prepare for surgery, and I'll be back in a moment. I've returned from washing my hands, so they're now sterile and ready for surgery, but still wet. The disposable gown pack comes with two sterile hand towels. So I'm going to pick up the first hand towel. Notice I keep it folded as I bring it away from the surface. And only when it's away from the surrounding surfaces can I open it. And I open it into the palm of one hand and I use it to dry all surfaces of the fingers and the hands, wrap it around the arm, bring it down towards the elbow, and then discard it. I take the second hand towel in the same way, keep it folded while I bring it towards me, open it, place it into the palm of the hand, then use it to dry the surfaces of the finger and the hand on this side, again down from the hand towards the elbow and discard. So my hands are now sterile and dry, I'm still keeping them away from my body. I pick up the gown, again keep this folded as I lift it from the surface so it doesn't unfold to touch anything until it's in front of me. Identify the neckline and that will now be allow me to hold it at the neck, let it unfold in front of me. I can now identify the openings to the sleeves. I'm going to push this on. But now I'm not going to pull it up towards myself. I'm going to allow an assistant to reach behind me and then reaching inside the gown to the neckline to start with, and this gown has a velcro at the neckline. And then they reach inside the gown for the inner ties. So there it's tied neatly around me. The front ties I'm going to leave until I place the sterile gloves. And notice throughout all of this, my hands are remaining inside the sleeves so I can do the closed gloving technique. So I now need to have my gloves prepared for me so I can pick them up and do the closed gloving. We're now ready to wear the gloves in a closed fashion. So at this time I've kept my hands inside the sleeves and slightly above my waist level to avoid them touching anything else. I go to the glove packet which is on a sterile surface and I open the packet, fold it 
open. It's useful to bring it just slightly to the edge of the table so we can fold it away from ourselves so it stays open. Now I take my right hand, finger and thumb, onto the cuff of the right glove, which is labelled, lift it up, turn it over, and then take my finger and thumb from the other hand to hold the outside of the cuff and slide my hand into the glove. I can make fine adjustments in a moment. The same with the other hand, finger and thumb inside the sleeve, hold the cuff, turn it over on my hand, and then take the other hand to bring this glove over my hand, slide it out of my sleeve into my glove, and the same on this side now. So this left hand is completely covered, so I can manipulate the outer surface without contaminating the gloves or the sleeve. Pull the fingers into place, bring the sleeve to a comfortable position, make sure my fingers are comfortable. So we've now successfully put on the gloves in the closed fashion. We have the gown and the final step is to tie the front ties of the gown. So we have two ties joined by a piece of card, the left tie and the right tie. So I keep the left tie in my hand. I'm holding the right tie with the card. I pass the card to an assistant who holds the card, keeps hold of the card while I spin, spin until the tie is almost in front of me. My assistant keeps hold of the card while I take the tie and I'm now ready to tie the ties in an aseptic fashion at the side. So I'm gloved and gowned ready for surgery, keep my hands clasped in front of me above the waist at all times and we're ready to move into the operating room to do the surgery.